What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Rant and Review Pro Wrestling, and this is a news break. So we have some news from Kurt Angle on his recent podcast where he was talking about an AEW star that he thinks is going to be pretty big. So we'll talk about that in this news break. But before we get to that, I want to remind you guys this being YouTube, you can hit the like button, subscribe button, and a notification bell helps YouTube's little algorithm let other people know about this video. So I do appreciate it very much. And now on to the news. So Kurt Angle reminisced about that famous Royal Rumble 2000 match where his undefeated streak was ended by the submission machine Taz, who was making his debut in WWE at the time, fresh out of ECW, coming in with a lot of hype. Uh, it was a big surprise. I remember that match very well. Opened up Royal Rumble 2000, which was one of the best WWE pay-per-views of all time, in my opinion. Uh, Taz came out to a roar at Madison Square Garden and ended Kurt Angle's undefeated streak with the Taz mission. But after the match, Kurt, of course, said, hey, wait, I was choked out. That's an illegal move. I'm still undefeated. So that was pretty cool. But what Kurt also said is that he's very high, like everybody else is, on hook. He is quoted as saying, he's making a huge impact in wrestling right now. This kid is awesome. He's going to be a big star. He definitely is. I hear he's got a one of the top selling t-shirts for pro wrestling tees, which is unbelievable. Kid only had four matches in AEW and he's already a sensation. And that's some pretty high endorsement from the Olympian himself. One of the greatest of the last generation, Kurt Angle. Uh, unbelievably that Kurt is uh, unbelievable. I should say that Kurt is uh, this high on Taz, but uh, and Taz's son, Hook. But Hook is very much in line with Kurt Angle. A lot of people draw some comparisons to uh, the more aggressive Kurt Angle and the current incarnation of Hook. And I think we all agree with that, that as long as he doesn't get injured, he doesn't go down the wrong path, and AEW doesn't do crazy things, Hook is absolutely lightning in a bottle. I don't know. It's just something about that kid. He's so unique. And he's got such a swag about him. He's got star written all over him. Uh, Tony Khan wants to keep uh, keep his eyes on that guy and keep his hooks in him, so to speak. And that goes to something else here we're going to talk about in the news break is that, as you probably have seen around, a lot of uh, AEW contracts are coming up. And just a couple of people I think you're probably not going to see in AEW anymore who are part of this, what I guess we could call the first generation of AEW these first three years. Obviously, Brian Cage, who, by the way, had an outstanding match with Will Ospreay uh, this past week, which if you haven't checked that out, go go find that. That is a great match. I think it's probably the best Brian Cage match we've seen since he was in Lucha Underground. Uh, but Brian Cage, I don't expect to be back. Sonny Kiss, I don't expect to be back. We already know, um, even though Leva Bates says that he's still around, Peter Avalon is probably not going to be around. Uh, Leo Rush, um, <laughs> apparently it was a three, it was a three, uh, month contract and he's going to be a free agent in February. So that they, they really, they try with Leo Rush. This is the kind of the funny thing about it. They brought Leo Rush in. They gave him those promo packages. They had him have the whole thing with Dante Martin. And then it's like the whole thing shifted really quickly. And they made him look like an idiot when they took him away from Dante Martin. And then, I don't know. But now Leo Rush is not in AEW anymore. Leo Rush has burned a lot of bridges. He's now burned bridges with the two major league companies in the United States, WWE and AEW. So... Uh, he's still part of New Japan Strong and a lot of the other independent ones. Maybe he'll go to Impact and make an impact there. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of guys and girls who are not going to be in AEW pretty soon. And this was to be expected. You know, they were they went through the first three years. And some people are going to have things to say about it. Some people are going to like it. Some people are not going to like it. But it is what it is. Uh, AEW's roster is constantly evolving. And it's not to say that any of these people cannot return to AEW at some point in the future. I think uh, Tony Khan and the crew there, they kind of had that revolving door of kind of like, you know, you're not gone forever. Uh, just right now, maybe not such a good fit, but maybe in the future you will be. Uh, speaking of impact, as I was with Leo Rush, Moose had some thoughts about 
Impact and said that their shows are just as good, if not better, than AEW and WWE. Uh, he's quoted as saying, if you watch our shows, I feel our shows are just as good, if not better, than AEW and WWE. I think the biggest challenge, if I was running a company, I would try to expand our following in the sense of getting bigger venues and seeing if we can draw 5,000 or 6,000 seat arenas. You never know unless you try. Let's see if we can start slowly running in big arenas, especially our pay-per-views. And I agree with that. Impact has had some stacked cards in their pay-per-views. And I think... And th and this goes to what I said all the time about how AEW actually came around. It wasn't because of you know the the elite and all those guys just doing what they did on being a, the elite. That didn't help. That was a great, big catalyst. But and I've always said this: they could show that they would be in front of these ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty, thirty, forty thousand. Uh, audience crowds in Japan as part of their package and going, hey, I'm Kenny Omega. I was wrestled in... He can say, I headlined a show with 40,000 people at it. You know, that's that's a big deal. That was a big... I think that has a lot to do. Perception is a big thing in wrestling and the perception of when you have a big match, but it's only in front of 100 people as opposed to having a big match in front of 20,000 people, 10,000 people. It has a big effect on the perception of the wrestling audience and it can help your company grow so i absolutely agree with moose there i do think it is time for impact and ring of honor which is going to be kind of the thing this year in 2022 impact and ring of honor if they can start doing bigger arena shows i think that helps the wrestling industry out tremendously so then we can start to get getting to them both being legitimately i, I would say tied for third as far as the biggest wrestling companies in north america behind WWE and AEW. So um, I'm hopeful for that. Uh, let's see if that actually happens. Um, and we also have some unfortunate uh, injury news. Odyssey Jones undergoes surgery. Uh, Odyssey Jones, one of the one of the more colorful NXT stars from NXT 2 that I actually uh, like. I did finally get around to watching a couple NXT shows over the weekend, and he did stand out to me uh, as I was going back and looking through some of the older shows. So he's going to be out for an extended period of time, unfortunately. Um, he was on crutches and wearing a knee brace on his uh, when he was at NXT during the tapings last week. So hopefully uh, he'll be back sooner than later. Um, he was one of the best uh, wrestlers, uh, or one of the best personality wrestlers, I should say, and was in the finals of the NXT breakout tournament that he lost to Carmelo Hayes. So we will see with, if he comes back pretty soon. Or he said by fall, but so about six months from now, we'll see what what they do with him when he comes back. But Odyssey Jones, I think he's, he's, there's something to him that I like. It's not it's not quite at hook levels, but there's something to him that I think that guy could also be a big star if used in the right way. I, I there's some intangible about him that I like. But anyway, that's the news for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you found anything useful new or interesting in this video again please hit that like button and don't forget to look down in the description box i got some free goodies down for you guys free stocks free crypto free points from chase sapphire so check all that stuff out and until next time i'll see you guys here for more news rumors and commentary on the rat and review pro wrestling have a good day